Hello everyone and welcome back to Cast Iron Dreams. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about camping in the state of Washington that is at no extra charge if you have a Washington State uh, Discover Pass. For people that are not in the know or not from the area, the Discover Pass has been required uh, by Washington State for quite some time now. It uh, allows you to get into uh, campgrounds and parks for basically day use, some places overnight stay. You don't need it at everywhere, but the vast majority of them you do. There's a couple of campgrounds uh, up in the San Juan Islands that you can get to by boat. They don't require the Discover Pass. But for, in most cases, it is required. Um, the Discover Pass itself is uh, fairly cheap. It's 30 bucks annually, and you can use it on two different vehicles. Also, you can buy a day pass for 10 bucks. So obviously it's cheaper in the long run to just buy the, the year pass if you're gonna use it more than you know one day or one weekend, what have you. So with that being said, um, we'll go ahead and jump into it and we'll talk a little bit about where, uh, where some of these locations are at and uh, talk about the website that you can find them on. So let's get to it. All right, so we'll just start off with the website that you can look up all the locations at and find information, uh, whether they're open or closed, what have you. And that website itself is dnr.wa.gov, so dnrwashington.gov. Um, and that's the website that you can find all the campgrounds themselves listed on. I'll do a little screen recording here and just kind of show you a scroll through. Uh, there were a lot more than I thought. There must be roughly 50 of them, and they cover most of the state. Uh, the majority of them are in central and eastern Washington, but there are a handful on western, in western Washington also. So here is the DNR website, and this is the list of the campgrounds uh, for the state. It's just a little box that you can scroll down through. Um, it's got the name of the campground on the left, and then the county that it's in on the right and the third column is whether it's open or closed or it's general status um, and if you just take that information and punch it into like google maps they'll come right up uh, i checked several of them and they were easy to find so there you go so that'll cover uh, how to find the campgrounds and uh, where they're located next i'll do a little screen uh, recording showing you where you can get the discover pass and what website that that is so you can find one of those uh, so this is the website here where you can find the information about the discover pass uh, price and then locations uh, and different ways to acquire the discover pass itself and then once you have the discover pass the places that we showed previously you can stay at those for no extra charge it's included in the cost of the Discover Pass. So there you go. There's where you can find the locations of the campsites and then where you can find access to the Discover Pass. So with those two things, um, you can have some, not completely free camping, but pretty low cost. Um, again, the annual pass is roughly 30 bucks. I think they add tax onto it. So, I mean, if you use it a couple of times, it's, I mean, pretty cost effective in this day and age and gives you an alternative to, uh, you know, uh, BLM or national forest land. Um, I didn't know about this option for quite some time and uh, we just used it recently this year. Um, it's in another video on here, uh, 29 Pines Campground over in Cleo. It was pretty cool. There's another park just south of that that's a little bit nicer that we didn't stay out but we drove through that's also included with the uh, Discover Pass so it's free if you have the pass also. So anyway, hope this information helps somebody find a spot and uh, they can enjoy it. I know a lot of people up here in the Northwest or Washington State already have the Discover Pass so you can uh, just head out and find one of those spots and enjoy yourself. It's probably worth noting that these are dry camping so don't show up expecting a hot tub and a basketball court. Uh, it's going to be pack it in, pack it out and uh, pit toilets or Santa cans. And also, these places, you're not going to be allowed to pay out for the Discover Pass. You're going to be expected to have the Discover Pass before you get there, at least at most of the ones that I know of. So just keep those things in mind. Cheers. So with that being said, thanks for checking in with us. And until next time, safe adventures and cheers.